Hello everyone and welcome inside of the Rogers studio for another episode of Night's Talk. I'm, I'm your host Matt Sanderson. With me is Brady Klassen and Emil Larson in studio with me. Guys, it's a pleasure having you guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. All right, so it's uh, unfortunately two tough losses this week. Uh, it fell to um, the first place team Bradford Rattlers last Thursday 8-6 in, in a very close game uh, in, in an exciting game at that point and um, <clears throat> then uh, unfortunately lost to New Tecumseh uh, just the other day as well 4-3 to three. so only a couple games left on the schedule Emil we'll start with you here first it seems like I it is the fact that this is a young team but even though you have a, had a couple losses, you guys are still playing some pretty quality hockey. Yeah, I mean, fast hockey. Uh, we always lose in the third period, like the tank is blown. Um, we got some yeah, veteran guys coming along and Callum Queen and uh, Alan Maneri that keeps a great job every game. And some of the younger boys uh, are just having fun and trying to skate as much as possible. So I think it's a good team this year. And yeah, we got to keep working at it, even in third period. Brady, um, I know you've been a, you've been on the this roster with uh, since Alan Maneri has kind of been down and and whatnot. Um, but from your mindset, from how things are looking for the rest of the season for this club, what are your thoughts? Um, we really started to pick it up right before Christmas break. It was looking really good. Um, the break. Uh, Kind of, kind of hurt us a little bit. We're having a little bit of a rough, rough start after break, uh -huh. but I think we're about to pick it up here again. As we did have a good game against the Rattlers, uh, just two unlucky goals to start off the third period, and yeah, I think I think it could go well. Looking, looking forward to playoffs, and I think it could go well for us. So obviously, um, you've had a, a couple injuries throughout the season, guys. Uh, one of them being um, uh, Martin, or er, um, excuse me, um, uh, uh, Francis Moore who uh, went down earlier in the year, but reassuring news, the fact that we were told on Thursday night that he is starting to skate now and could very well be back for the playoffs, fingers crossed. How important is that, uh, Emil, to, to you guys, even having a guy like him back in the lineup? Yeah, I think he, he, he matters a lot on the team. He's always positive, no matter what, even if we're behind. A great loss for him. Um, yeah, as you said, he's skating with us sometimes. Um, He's had the practices at the games to keep our mood ties, and yeah, it's great to have him back. All right, so you guys have done uh, stat-wise for yourself, um, it obviously on the different ends of the spectrum, mm -hmm. but Emil, we'll start with you here first. What are your thoughts on, on your, your stats this year and your, um, your play? I really don't keep stats about the, the how many points I make. It's usually mostly plus-minus score. I keep track on, and... Uh, this year it's been ups and downs that depends on which game and what which uh, opportunity I had like if it's third line or first line it uh, but yeah plus minus is what I focus on and Brady how how, how do you feel uh, you've played so far uh, this season uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how I played so far yeah. uh, I haven't had a whole lot of ice time but I've I feel like I've stood my ground when I've needed to I've went in one or two week ones but every goal is going to is bad bounces right it's gonna happen uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with how I played. All right, so let's take a look kind of what's going on around in the GMHL. We'll start over with the North Division and the standings there. The Bradford Rattlers, 59 points right now. Temiskaming, only seven points back. Um, the Meaford Knights, you see them sitting there in seventh place. Only three points out of fifth, a point out of sixth place. And I uh, have a little bit of a cushion excuse me there on the Bradford Bulls and then we'll go over to the South Division obviously St. George running away with things over there 34 and 3 on the season uh, really making a name for themselves in a statement to say the least Windsor Kingsville Niagara in the Lake North York Northumberland and Oshawa round out your top eight over there and then we'll go over to GMHL scoring and Bryce Yetman added again 123 points so far this season and 32 games played. He had only played in 30 games, I believe, last week. 
and he had 114 points. So he's got two extra games, and he comes away with um, nine extra points. So absolutely ripping it up. 64 goals, 59 assists for him. Uh, and you see uh, Mikhail Frolov and Melwin Thorson down there for the Bradford Rattlers in the top 10 as well. We'll go over to GMHL scoring. And Eli Kinsman leading the way there for his club. 54 points. He's got 17 goals and 37 assists. You have Tyson Goditis and Connor Long in the mix as well with Tyler Arsenal, Callum Queenan, Alec Hernandez, Francis Moore, Martin Badura, Wojtek Sabota, and Nils Munzberg rounding out your top 10 there. Uh, and then we also have highlights that we're going to show you guys, or that we're going to show as well, and that was from last Thursday night against the Bradford Rattlers. Check it out. And now picked up by Arsenal. Arsenal, great chance there, and they score! Yes, yes, <laughs> that's true. And they score! What a backhand! Off to Dick Tristafaro. Shoot. Didn't fully get all the way in. They score! Minute, but Trevor Babin. They score! Dick Tristafaro. Eli Kinsman. Score! Tyler Arsenal. Arsenal. And now Kinsman, another chance, a two on one. The same play, Just but on the opposite side, it's 3-3. Three, three. The Knights tie it up. 45 seconds to two minutes has been non-stop. They score! There it is. Arsenal now. Arsenal shoots, scores! Tyler Arsenal with the hat trick. Going through everybody. They tie it up. Unbelievable. It's not many times you hear they tie things up that early. Don't have not found themselves. Another goal in the back of the net. They're in now. He drops it back for Skylarock. Skylarock. In front, they score. Goditis. In front, they score! Within one! As that's gonna yeah. put the nail in the coffin. Uh. Exciting game and uh, if you haven't already heard when I call a game, I'm already very excited. And it's even better when the Knights take the lead. That 5-3 there, that was uh, entertaining for sure uh, to see you guys jump out there. And Tyler Arsenal, boy, uh, he uh, must have had something in his Wheaties before the game there because he uh, had a good hat trick. Unfortunately, fell 8-6 overall. But, Emil, you were mentioning it before we, we went on air here, you guys sometimes play actually better against these top teams. Look what you guys did against Ville Marie earlier this season. Yeah, I think, yeah. New Tech, all the good teams that is up above us, we play really good against them. Um, right now we're, yeah, battling Bulls. We have a game next Thursday here against them and that's all and down game for them and the same as us. So yeah, we play really good against good teams and. Yeah, we could play better against worse team than us. So yeah, we got to keep it up all the way to the playoffs. So Brady, um, even though it was an eight-six loss, you have to be happy with your team's effort for staying in the game, even taking that two-goal lead there as well. Oh, for sure, it was a huge lead for us to get because um, they are well the top team in the league and obviously good contenders. Um, but the guys worked hard all game long and our goal scorers really stepped up like Arsenal there got getting a hat trick that was a too bad to fall that game but getting that lead was for sure a confidence booster all right so uh, we'll take a look at the upcoming games now for the Knights now, as you're alluding to Emil against the Bradford Bulls this Thursday night at the St. Vincent Community Center, and then Sunday, February 3rd, also uh, Super Bowl Sunday as well, in Bradford to take on the Rattlers, and then back home February the 7th against the South, the South Muskoka Shield, and then your 
and uh, NL Maglin at Ville-Marie at Bradford for the Bulls game and then home on February the 14th against the Bradford Rattlers. So from the, the 3rd to the 14th, uh, basically in, in, in 11 days, you have a five or six games. So that's going to be a tough stretch for this club. But what's the mindset kind of going forward here, Brady? Um, for me, it's just put, uh, piecing together a full 60 minutes, I think, of having a little bit of, a little bit of issues with that lately. Uh, I don't know if it's just we just run out of gas or what's going on, but yeah, piecing together a full 60 minutes for sure. And I think uh, one of our focuses should be our power play as well. We need to capitalize more. We've been cycling a lot better than we did before Christmas, but capitalizing is, is uh, the, next, the next step, I think. And a mill for you? Yep, pretty much the same as Brady said. Like we got to keep keep it going for 60 minutes. Um, PP and PK has got to be better. Uh, it's gotten better through the seasons. Um, but yeah, work 60 minutes. So yeah. Well, we still have a handful of games left on the schedule, and who knows what could happen. Uh, you're only three points out of fifth place. So all the best to you guys, and uh, we'll see you Thursday night at the game. Thanks for joining us. For sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so that does it for tonight's edition of Night's Talk. Join us next week. We'll be back here in studio with two more special guests from the Meaford Knights. Until then, make sure you get to the St. Vincent Community Center on Thursday night. There's also going to be one on uh, February the 7th as well. So make sure you tune into that one as well. Until then, take care.